hi guys welcome back to another amazing cooking video kindly remember to subscribe like and turn on the notification bell so today we are preparing a delicious chicken pot pie you can find the ingredients in the description box below so here as you can see we have our ingredients so here we have our marinated chicken breasts uh, here we have our grated cheddar cheese here we have our one large red onion. Uh, here we have coriander leaves and spring onions. Uh, here we have our courgettes. Here we have our coriander stems. Here we have one capsicum. Here we have our grated carrots. Uh, here we have our spices. You can use uh, spices that you want, that you prefer. Here we have our chicken pie crusts. Here we have the frozen peas. Over here we have our button mushrooms. And here we have uh, our tomatoes. So I almost forgot here we have the dough for the pie crust which has rested overnight. So we are going to go straight into the cooking. We are going to start by cooking our mushrooms. Oh, oh we're going, we have put some oil in the pan and we're going to add the mushrooms into the pan. Uh, this is uh, sugar, this is salt we are adding, sorry. So we are going to stir gently and after stirring we are going to cover it and let it simmer. So after uh, allowing it to simmer for a few minutes, we are going, until they are tender, we are going to add some chicken cubes into the button, button mushrooms. And also we are going to add some chili cubes as well into the mushrooms so after this we are going to stir until both cubes have blended with the mushrooms completely for a couple of minutes so after a few minutes of stirring, the button mushrooms appear to be ready or are ready. So what we are going to do, we are going to put them on a plate and put them aside. Uh, and we are going to use this same, this same sufuria to cook our marinated chicken breasts. Uh, so now we are going to cook our marinated chicken breasts uh, in the pan we already have our oil which is already ready so we are going to put our marinated chicken breast into the pan frying pan and uh, we are going to stir this until the chicken is covered with the oil so what we are going to do now is that we are going to add our tomato and onion cubes into the marinated chicken We are going to stir properly and then allow it to simmer for a few minutes. So as you can see now the chicken, the marinated chicken breast are ready after a few minutes of simmering. All we are going to do now is that we are going to stir it for just a few seconds. Then after that we are going to, after this we are going to put the chicken together with the mushrooms and set them aside uh, so now in the same frying pan we've added uh, some oil 
Uh, yes. We, we are then going to put in uh, onions into the frying pan. We are also going to add our grated ginger and garlic into the pan. So what we are going to do now is that we are going to add courgettes into the pan and we are going to cook until tender. At this point we are also going to put in some coriander stems just to add more flavor. What we're going to add now is black pepper. You can add uh, to your desired amount. So at this point, I decided to add in some oil as the pan was getting sticky. So what we're going to do now is that we are going to add our diced tomatoes into the mixture so what we are going to do is that we are going to cover it and uh, let it cook, cook for a few minutes so now what we are going to do is that we are going to add in our carrots We are also going to add in our green capsicum. Here we are going to add in our salt and uh, give it a stir. So what we are going to do now is that we are going to cover and allow it to simmer for about 2 minutes. So now we are going to add in our parsley into the sauce. And we are also going to add a uh, thyme. So now we are going to add in our frozen peas into the mixture. Now we are going to add some chicken stocks, chicken stock, and uh, we are going to stir well and then cover and let it cook for about three minutes uh, because the peas were already pre-boiled so now we are finally going to add in our cooked mushrooms and our chicken breast by each side of the pot so on this side we are going to add our mushrooms as you can see 
and uh, the chicken breast you are going to put them on this other side and the reason as to why we are doing this is to avoid being mushy to avoid them being mushy so we are going to allow them to cook for another five minutes in low heat So now we are going to put in the cornstarch. The reason as to why we are putting in cornstarch is to thicken the mix. So now we are going to add in our chicken stock and then we are going to stir properly this mixture. So as it continues to cook for about 2 minutes to wrap up then put in coriander leaves and the spring onions so now we can cover and switch off the cooker so what we are doing here is that we are assembling the chicken pot pie we are now putting the mixture into the bottom crust of the pie as shown in the baking dish. Now we are going to add in the shredded cheddar, cheddar cheese on top of the mixture. We are then uh, going to cover this with the top crust. Put it gently on top. If you wish to know how to make this homemade pie crust, uh, kindly comment down below. Ensure to slice in the middle pie to let air out. As you can see, I'm slicing the pie. This ensures air is uh, released out. So what we are going to do now is that we are going to brush the top with an egg to give it the glossy brown shine once baked. So once done, put the pie into the preheated oven and bake at 200 degrees Celsius for 25 to 35 minutes. If you see it browning too much during baking, cover with a foil paper. 
So once ready, let it cool and enjoy your delicious chicken pot pie. So now as you can see, our chicken pie is very ready. It looks very delicious. It looks amazing. I can't wait to have a bite of this. It looks really, really nice. So now I'm going to serve it on a plate and get ready to dive into it. So we've come to the end of the video guys. Thank you so much for watching. Kindly remember to subscribe, like this video, turn on the notification bell. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.